Hi there, good morning. My name's Sam and you're watching So Let's Spark with Sam and it is day 16 of Vlogmas. I don't know where all the days are going. It's just going so fast. So it's day 16, it's Friday. I've got a day off today. Simon's just gone off to work. Um, my son is also at home today. So we're hopefully going to spend a little bit of time together, which is nice because we don't normally get a lot of one-to-one -one time now. He's older, um, so it's quite nice. And, um, oh, he's 23, by the way. He's growing up, but I do like spending time with him. And, um, and yeah, so we've been away for a couple of days, which means that the house has been neglected a bit. My son's been here, but he's been working. So I need to run around the house and, you know, load the washing machine mop the floors do that kind of stuff so I'm going to do that this morning and then this afternoon I'm going to do a little bit of tutorial filming and a little bit of sewing just for me so that would be really nice so yeah so that's my plans for today so I will I'll take you with me on my day and we'll whiz around and maybe not the cleaning but other bits and pieces if you're interested um so yeah so I thought while I'm here, I will open my day 16 of my Flying Bobbins Advent Calendar and my Get Sewing with Abigail Advent Calendar. So I'll op open day 16 of the Get Sewing with Abigail one first. Open the lovely red spotty bags. I've just been actually, I've as I've been opening them, I've been putting all of the, the um, gifts in a drawer so that I can kind of, you know, see what I've got, maybe take a picture once they're all open. And I'm really having to shove them all in the drawer now. There's getting quite a few in there. So, Oh, wow, look at this. Fabulous. Bright yellow is always great. Do you know what? When, um, when I buy fabric, I was talking to Heather at um, Always Knitted and Sewing. When you buy fabric, you, you don't always think about the blenders. But I know that um, Always Knitted and Sewing do some great blender bundles. Um, and I'm thinking about perhaps getting getting some just, you know, just so you've got them, always got them there. Because I mean, you've always got all the prints, but not so much the blenders. So that is a lovely colour, isn't it? Look at that. And actually, I'm just looking across because that's where a lot of my, my fabrics are for projects that I've got planned sooner rather than later. And there's quite a lot of yellow in there. So that's going to come in really handy. So that's lovely. And then I've got my day 16 of my flying bobbins advent calendar. Oh, it's a real frosty day here in Leamington Spa, but my heating's come on, so it must be cold if my heating's come on. So it's quite nice and toasty in here. Oh, look at this. Don't you just love a sewing tin? I love a sewing tin. And it's the Simplicity Vintage Ladies. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. Isn't that great. And I've got a little sewing tin for all my notions. So... Isn't that lovely? So yeah, so I'm going to leave you for now. I'm going to go off and do all my jobs and then I'll see you a bit later. Bye for now. Hello there. You might have noticed you are a bit of a funny angle <laughs> it's because I'm going to try and do a little bit of a sew along with you. So um, I've done all my cleaning. My house is nice and clean and tidy. Washing's been put on. Uh, so I just thought I needed to do a little few last minute gifts. Um, and as I was making it, I was thinking, well, these are really dead simple to make. Um, I wonder if they would like to watch me make one. So what I'm making are these eye pillows. Um, so they're, it's like you basically you put them on your eyes and they're, they're lavender scented and they're supposed to help you relax or meditate or sleep. Um, and they're just they're just slightly weighted. Um, but they but I make them so they come inside a little pouch so it's just a little flap over pouch and then inside is the buckwheat with the lavender in so you can have it completely separate because obviously because you put it on your eyes you'll want to be able to wash the cover so the cover is completely separate from from the pillow so I thought oh that would be quite good because obviously if you're going to put anything in the microwave I don't suggest that you put the um eye pillows in the microwave because you don't want them that hot just rest them on the radiator and they're fine but if you wanted to make this with rice 
um, to put in the microwave. Obviously, this would have to be 100% cotton and your thread would have to be 100% cotton. But the cover doesn't have to be because this doesn't go anywhere near the microwave. This just goes in the washing machine. So I didn't know whether this would be kind of quite a good project to have in your arsenal of, of emergency gifts. So yeah, so it's just a little case, a little case, and then the little pouch. And this this is the bit that you put your put your buckwheat in. So this is dead simple. This is a nine inch square. You get a nine inch square, you fold it in half, you sew, you fold it in half, you sew along two sides. Um, leave the short side open, turn it through, fill with your buckwheat or your rice or your lavender. Mine's actually got Christmas scents in as well because I thought it might be quite nice. Um, pop in, I put in one American cup size. It's about it's about 200 millilitres jug of buckwheat rice into there and it's about it fills it about a third full so obviously if you're doing your own sizing you can kind of work out and you just want it to be not too heavy because obviously you're going to put it on your eyes you can always just try it out and see if if that's okay and and then sew it up and as i said this bit is the only bit you need to do in 100 percent cotton and your thread needs to be cotton as well but it doesn't matter what the sewing looks like necessarily because you're going to pop it inside the pouch so that's how you make your pouch. That's how you make that bit there. <laughs> and then I thought we'd make the pouch together, but I'm going to make it with this lovely woodland owl fabric. So you need to get a length of fabric. Mine is five inches by 21 inches long. So the length of a fat quarter basically five inches wide and then you want to double roll hem both of the edges so basically we're going to fold it over by quarter of an inch and fold it over by quarter of an inch again on both sides okay so i'm going to do that now just i've got my little prim mini iron i'm sorry it, I, i'm trying to get so that you could see everything that i was doing but it is a bit tricky to try and get everything into the into the shot, as it were. And when I do um, my tutorials, I do it all from above, and then you don't tend to see me. Which, uh, but I thought, well, as I'm talking to you, it might be quite nice to see <laughs> see me, so I'm not just this disembodied voice. So I folded it over by a quarter of an inch. I am not measuring any of this. I'm just eyeballing it. You don't need it to be accurate. You obviously feel free to measure it if you want to. I'm not. I've made so many of these that uh, I can just do it by eye. Okay, and then once I've done that, make sure that my, I'll bring you back up again. Hello. <laughs> and then I'm going to just sew the ends. There's my foot pedal. You don't need to backstitch if you don't want to, because you're going to enclose all of these. This is just your hem, so you don't need to backstitch it. I, I, I mean, I tend to backstitch it anyway, just out of habit. And then do the other side. There we go. These make great last minute gifts. And they're good for anybody, really, that likes to relax. And who doesn't like to relax? So, But they're great for kind of teenage girls, kind of little spa gifts. Um, as I said, you can either, you know, you don't have to fill them with lavender. You can just fill them with, with a rice packet that you can 
for instructions to put in the microwave. Um, and then they're good for just for heat packs. So I've hung those up. Oh, upside down fabric. And then what you want to do is I tend to, so I'm going to just take the left hand side and I'm going to fold it over by one and a half inches. So I am going to measure that. So I'm just going to take, pop this down and get my ruler. And what I tend to do is I tend to measure three inches and mark it and then make the end line up to the mark because then you know it's going to be one and a half inches does that make sense <laughs> i don't know why i do it that way but i do and i just find it easier so i'm just going to take that up to that three inch mark so i folded it over like that can you see so this is the wrong side of my fabric so it's right sides to right sides folded over by an inch and a half I mean, an inch and a half ish. It doesn't it doesn't need to be very accurate. What you're fitting inside is soft. So it will, you know, it will give a bit. So it doesn't need to be totally, totally accurate. And I like sewing that doesn't need to be totally, totally accurate. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold right sides together again. But the bit that we haven't folded, we just want to cross over by the bit that we have folded by about half half an inch three quarters of an inch so we're just going to cross it over like that and then you want to use some clips just to clip it in place like that and then we're going to sew up these two long sides now if you're giving you this as a gift this might be a good time to pop a label in I am going to give this one as, as a gift, so I am going to pop this You Are Loved label in. And I'm going to put the label the opposite side to the flap. So on this one that I've already made, as you can see, there's the flap. So I want my label to be on the other side of the flap. So I'm just going to pop it in. Uh, just a little bit away. Oh, hang on. Let me. I'm just going to have a look, see what size way my trees go they go that way so i'm just going to pop that in there excellent just going to grab myself a pin and pin that label in so so there i've got my crossover and there's my label just so you can see and then i'm gonna pop this through my machine i'm just using a standard stitch length, standard machine stitch. Just move the other one, the one that I made earlier out of the way. And I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter as long as you use the same. It doesn't really matter. You can, as I said, if you're not very accurate with your straight lines, go bigger. It won't matter. You should still be able to squeeze your rice pouch inside or your buckwheat. So there we go. And then just swap it over and do the other side. Now this I would backstitch at the start and at the end and also when you get over the bit that you've folded, let me just get to that. So the bit that folds over, this is going to have a stress point because you're going to take it up in and out of here. So when you get to that bit, just backstitch over that little fold once or twice and that will just secure that and make it a little bit um, more secure so I'm just gonna do that on the other side I'm just gonna back stitch over my fold the bit that, the bit that I folded over it isn't folded there we go super done so I'm just going to trim off all my loose threads 
and I'm also going to trim my corners. Shall I poke you back down again so you can see what I'm doing? Sorry for all of this. I hope I'm not making you feel a bit seasick. There we go. I'm just trimming all my trims and put my in my thread catcher. There we go. And then I'm going to just trim. Ooh, that was my uh, marking pen that just fell off my table. I'm just going to trim the corners because then when I turn it through, it will just ch turn through nicely. There we go. Super. And now. You can just turn it through the gap, the flap that you've made and you want to turn it through on one side. Make sure that you've poked all your corners out. Use your pokey tool if you've got one. If you want to, if you don't want to, that's fine. And then the flap just goes over and that's how you just got like a little flap closure. So it's really, really simple. Let me just, while I've got my iron on, give it a quick press. <laughs> and there you have it. Really nice and simple. And then you can use this to put anything in really. It's, you know, and then you've got your rice pouch whatever buckwheat i find that this buckwheat um holds the smells if you're using essential oils um it holds the smells nicer than rice i find that rice can sometimes have that like popcorny smell not that there's anything wrong with popcorn but um um it, you smell that and nothing else whereas i find the buckwheat holds you know kind of a lousy the essential oils to, to smell better. I popped that in. So what I need to do, I've just popped it in the wrong way. So I'm just going to pop it in, back in. There we go. And then if you hold on to the top and just kind of shake it down like you do when you're putting your pillowcases on your pillows, <laughs> then it'll just go in nicely. So yeah, and there you have it. There's your little pouch all ready makes a great gift a little relaxation eye pillow <music>lovely afternoon i have just spent the whole of the afternoon with my son just hanging out and doing what we do and it's just been really really nice you forget don't you like you know when when they're little how much time you spend with them because you need to look after them um but actually when they get older you spend time with them because you just like hanging out with them and it's just really lovely so i've had a really lovely afternoon and yeah so i hope you enjoyed the little tutorial earlier of um so i've just showed you one that i've made this afternoon i've made this one out of some liberty a little, little little bit of liberty scrap that i had hanging around now my friend's just had a knee replacement um operation and as you can see i've just put the little liberty ribbon on there so it says liberty on there um she's had a knee operation so for hers i've done it exactly the same way with the little flap over pouch and then hers and then this is um this is calico which is fine for the microwave and then i've used cotton um i've used cotton thread um and i've put rice in here so she can actually heat this up and then pop it in the pouch and then it'll be nice um on her knee when she has to rest her knee so i've just made her a little kind of extra present because she loves liberty fabric so i thought that might be quite a nice nice little thing so yeah 
So I just made that quickly this afternoon. Um, yeah, so it's Friday. So I'm going to go take myself downstairs in a little bit, cook us a nice meal, maybe open a bottle of wine, um, wait for Simon to get home and then just enjoy the evening together and just have a nice chilled evening. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, tomorrow is Saturday and I've got something really fun in store for you tomorrow. So if you liked watching my videos, please um, subscribe, like, pop a com comment below. Um, thank you ever so much for people that watch and comment. It means the world to me. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.